There are many similarities between the G1000 and the old steam gauge six-pack layout, and there are some differences as well, so in this video we'll take a look at both and dive into some of the details. So to get started, just as with the old six-pack layout where the attitude indicator was kind of the centerpiece of all the instruments, the G1000 has done the same thing. In fact, the whole PFD screen looks like one big attitude indicator with the other instruments uh, located in convenient locations. Now, the attitude indicator on the G1000 is yellow triangle in the middle of the screen, and it shows the position of the nose of the airplane relative to the horizon. So you can see the horizon, it's where the green meets the blue. Now, you don't want to mistake the horizon for the zero pitch line, which is the white line just above the horizon. Now, looking at the attitude indicator, you'll notice that the pitch scale is divided up into segments of two and a half degrees. Now, one of the nice features of the pitch scale is the fact that if you pitch the airplane up or down too much or excessively, it'll start to show you chevrons to show you which way to pitch the airplane to get back to the horizon. And it'll also take away some of the information on the PFD that isn't really necessary. Now, being that we're using a PC trainer, I have the autopilot on just to make things look cleaner and crisper. But let me go ahead and take the autopilot off, and we'll see an example of this. So, autopilot and flight director are off. And now we'll begin the pitch up. Now you'll notice as we pitch up through about 30 degrees, some of the information, such as the inset map and a few other things, are going to disappear. And now you can see the chevrons at about 50 degrees. Now as we pitch back down at about 30 or 25 degrees pitch up, you'll again see the information pop back up. Okay, now going the other way, it's very similar. So as we start to pitch down, eventually the inset map and a few other pieces of information will go away. And there they go. And starting at about 30 degrees pitch down, you'll see the chevrons again, pointing you back to the horizon. And as we come back up, now our inset map, our wind vector, and a few other pieces of information have come back up. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the airspeed indicator. And now just like the old steam gauge airspeed indicator, it's divided up into different colors and different ranges, and so we'll see that here in a little bit. But first, I want to just go ahead and bring the throttle back to zero. And since it's a PC trainer and I'm on autopilot, nothing's going to matter. It's not going to make any difference. We'll roll a little bit, but no big deal. But right now you can see at the bottom, you can see the reference flags. So you have BY, BG, VX, and VR. Now those are going to stay at the bottom until we accelerate, and then they'll actually start to populate on the airspeed tape where they're supposed to come in. So as we accelerate, you'll see the VR flag at the rotate speed, the VX flag, the VG flag or best glide, and the VY reference flag at VY. Now you'll notice right now we're also in the green and the white portion of the airspeed tape, which would be the same as if we were in the green and the white arcs on the old steam gauge airspeed indicator. So we could put in whatever amount of flaps the POH deems appropriate. Now sometimes it's hard to tell how fast you're accelerating or decelerating. So what the G1000 has done is they've added trend bars, and it's the little pink bar you can see right now by the speed tape. And so what the trend bar does is it calculates how fast the airplane will be going in six seconds if nothing changes. So if I push the throttle in, you'll see the trend bar go up, and it's showing about 150, but since I took the throttle out, it just stayed there. Now if the trend bar calculates you're going to be in the, or past V and E, it'll turn the numbers yellow. Just try to grab your attention that, hey, you need to pay attention because you're about to go past V and E. And if you do go past V and E, you'll get into the barber pole section, or the white and red stripes on the airspeed tape, and the background will turn red and the numbers will turn white. And that's just another visual aid to get the pilot's attention that, hey, you're past V and E and we need to slow down. And you can see the trend vector also goes down whenever you're decelerating. Mm -hmm. 